When anyone's diagnosed with colon cancer, one thinks about family history. So here at Stanford, every colon cancer that's diagnosed, they do some special tests in addition to all the standard pathology tests. But colon cancers, like all other common solid tumors, by the time they're a cancer, they've acquired many, many, many genetic changes. Whether they occur due to hereditary risk or they just occur sporadically by chance. So as you can imagine, each cancer may be somewhat different in a way. And so more and more we're characterizing these tumors at a genetic level in the tumor DNA by looking for other molecular changes or proteins. Some of these changes can affect treatment, so any new colon cancer will be examined for a gene called RAS and some other genes that help tell us if a certain treatment might be more effective or less effective. Sometimes, particularly in more advanced cancers, if we're starting to run out of standard therapies that are effective, we're doing whole genome profiling to try to identify a target for which there may be a novel therapy that would be unique to that person, something we often call a more personalized approach to treating colon cancer.